Hello everyone, my name is Alexis. Welcome to class today. Cleo and I have a very simple, short, stretchy flow. Um, today we're just going to move through a series of stretches just to help you feeling a little better, get you into your body and out of your head. So we're going to start in tabletop position. We're just going to start moving through some cat cows. So inhale nice and deep shine the heart forward like a flashlight and then exhale scoop the spine up to the ceiling and just move through cat and cow matching your movement to your breath so when you inhale you're breathing in nice and deep and then moving however long that deep breath in is and same thing when you exhale you're moving and curling your spine up with your breath just a couple more here last one Beautiful. And then come to a nice straight spine. And we're going to bring the left foot forward between the hands to come into a low lunge. You can keep your hands on the mat. And we're just gonna rest here and take several deep breaths. Breathing in and out through the nose. Keep that left knee directly over the left ankle. And just let the right hip fall towards the mat. If you want to sway side to side, you can if that feels good. And then take a deep breath in and on the exhale, push your hips back to come into half split. Getting a little different stretch in the legs. Make sure you're flexing that left foot. Toes going back to the face. And continue to breathe no matter what's going on in your day no matter what's going on in your week allow this class to be a moment of rest come back into your low lunge plant the right hand and open the left arm up to the ceiling into just an easy twist here you can look down at the mat you can look straight ahead or you can look up to the ceiling whatever is most comfortable the point of this class is to relax you right so do what feels good if something doesn't feel good that's okay you don't need to be working your hardest here come back into tabletop pose and we'll do the same little sequence on the right side so bring the right foot between the hands to come into your low lunge on your right side and if you want to have blocks underneath your hands as we move through this you're welcome to to do that just continuing to breathe and just take note of how you feel today how does your body feel are you tense anywhere gripping anywhere take a deep breath in and on the exhale send the hips back over the knee for half split pose and same thing really flex that right foot so the toes are moving back towards your face It doesn't matter how far you're going. It doesn't matter how much you're stretching or how deep you're going. The point of this is to just feel good. Move your body a little bit in some different ways than maybe you've been moving it today. Beautiful. Come back to low lunge. Plant the left hand and open up that right arm up to the ceiling for your easy twist. And this should feel good. This shouldn't feel any strain. So if you're, uh, if you need props, if you need blocks, if you need a blanket under your knees, by all means bring that into the practice take another deep breath in and exhale bring that hand back down step the foot back into tabletop pose and then we're gonna come into the middle of our mats to come into half butterfly so hug the left foot into the groin and extend the right leg out long inhale nice and tall through the spine and exhale fold forward and again doesn't matter how far forward you fold. We're just doing this to get a nice stretch on the inside of that right leg, to stretch out the hips a little bit, and again, just move your body in a different way than maybe you've moved it today. So it doesn't matter if you're doing your hardest or your best or your most work here. This is just to feel good. Go easy on yourself, yeah? Take a couple more breaths. In and out through the nose. You're always welcome to prop your hips up. On a blanket if you need to come on up to a straight spine plant that left hand behind you and lift your hips forward bringing the right arm up overhead to come into baby wild thing and again doesn't matter how big of a movement this is but take a deep breath in enjoy it exhale 
come back to a seat and we'll just switch legs. This time bring the left foot into, excuse me, the right foot into the groin and extend the left leg out long. And same thing, inhale up through the spine, nice and tall and exhale, fold out of the hips forward. And if you can't fold forward, if you feel a stretch, just sitting up nice and tall with your leg extended, that's great. Do that, that's awesome. Doesn't matter if you can fold forward, doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter how wide out your left leg is, yeah? This is a very low pressure, no judgmental class. You should never judge yourself in yoga, but particularly today, if you came to this class for rest and relaxation, you don't need to invite in any judgment here. Go ahead and take another deep breath in and out through the nose and come up to a straight spine. Plant that right hand and lift the hips forward. Bring the left arm up overhead. Really stretch through the whole front and side of the body for baby wild thing. Beautiful. Take another deep breath in and out through the nose. Come back to a seat. We're just gonna swivel the legs around. Bend the knees, scooch the bum forward and come to lie down on your back. Very nice. Let the hands rest by your sides. Lift the hips over to the right. Let the knees lower to the left for a very gentle, easy twist. And you can bring your hands either to cactus arms by your sides or out into a T-shape or even up overhead if you wanted a bit more of a stretch kind of in the armpits and the pec area. Continue to breathe. you feel anything clenching or gripping see if you can relax that I find in twists I'm often gripping more than I need to bring your legs back to center lift the hips over to the left and lower the knees to the right for a twist on the other side if you do feel any parts of maybe your low back or your hips or your glutes gripping kind of holding on see if you can release and relax it might feel a little weird it might feel a little dangerous, but the more you can relax and release, the more your body is going to feel rested and relaxed and safe. And then you can move through your day from this place of rejuvenation. And bring the knees back to center, adjust the hips so they're nice and in line. And spread the legs long, feet as wide as the mat, rest the hands by your sides. Close your eyes and take a minute or two to rest in Shavasana. This is where I will leave you. Until tomorrow for day five, stay in Shavasana as long as you like. Let the music play and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now.